Then I'm going to show you how to add custom vehicles to your dealerships and make them purchasable by players in your server. To be able to do this, you need to have the vehicles installed within your resources already. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video explaining how to make vehicles 5 and ready and how to add them to your server. I'll leave a link for that in the description. First, we need to figure out the spawn name of the car you want to add to the dealerships. So we're going to go to our server resources and go to where our cars are installed. Once you're in there, find the car you want to add and then go to the vehicles file. Uh, right here on the model name is the spawn name. Just remember that because we'll need it for later. Next, you need to go to QB Vehicle Shop and open the config file. If you want to add your vehicles to the PDM shop, which has all the stock GTA vehicles, you can add the category here. If you want to add it to the luxury shop, we're going to keep scrolling down. If you haven't added categories or brands before, you should see the default category super in sports, which is fine. All you need to do is copy the last one. We're going to hit enter and then we're going to paste it. And then we're going to rename it to the brand of the vehicle you want to add. So for me, it's going to be Honda. And Honda again, make sure this one is lowercase. Once we're here, just make sure the one above it has a comma after it. And the last one that you just added, the end does not have a comma. After you've saved that, we're going to go to Cubicore, shared, and then the vehicles.lua. We're going to open that up. Once you're in here, the stock GTA vehicles are already in here. I put my add ons at the top. So, what we're going to do is copy this one here. We're going to hit enter. We're going to paste it and we'll rename it from there. So here's where you put the spawn name. So EK9. And then here's where you want to put the name where it will show up in the shop. So we'll do Civic EK9. The brand, which is going to be capital, we'll put Honda. The model is the spawn name again. So EK9. The price you can set to whatever you want. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to leave it as that. Where it says category, you put the brand again, but in lowercase. And the hash is the spawn name again. Now where it says shop, you can put PDM or you can put luxury. I'm going to keep it in the luxury shop. And once you've renamed everything, you can go ahead and save this. Once you have everything saved, that's all you need to do. So you can close out of this and start up your server. So once we're in the server, I'm going to check my job. I do have the vehicle dealer job. I'll show you how to set it up uh, later to where you can buy it without having the job. So we're going to go over to the vehicle here. And we're going to look for the brand we added. So here's the Honda. And then we're going to switch to the car. And then once it's here, we're going to sell into the player ID. And there's the vehicle being bought. If you don't have someone who runs the dealership or you want people to just be able to walk in and buy the car, we're going to go back to QB Vehicle Shop and go to the config. And we're going to scroll down to the luxury section where it says type. We're going to change this to free use. And where it says job, we're going to set it to none. And we're just going to save that and restart the server. So we're back in the server again. I'll check my job. I am EMS now. So we'll go back up to the car and we can swap to anything. So I'll do this and then I'll go ahead and buy it. When it comes to replacing the showroom vehicles from the default ones, we're going to go back to QB Vehicle Shop, go into the config, and we're going to scroll down to the luxury section. Um, here I'm going to replace the red eye with what I just installed, so EK9 and EK9. Go ahead and save this and then restart the server. We are back in the server and as you can see the red eye is no longer there. If this video helped you at all, please leave a like or a sub and if you need help, feel free to comment down below.